I think today's video is going to be a pretty interesting little experiment because what I have here is basically a full 5 inch racer. I mean, it's a pretty light setup, but nevertheless, this is basically a 5 inch 6S racer. It's got 2206 motors, 1950 kV. And it is powered by a 16x16 16 16 stack. The new Flywoo 16x16 16 16 stack that is rated for uh, 35 amp 6S. And what I'm going to do is just find out whether this claim of Flywoo that this delivers 35 amps actually will hold true. Whether this will handle this 1300 milliamp hour 6S on this build. So this should be quite interesting. Uh, but first let's take a closer look at this build. So as you see, this is a pretty light setup. It's got the lighter 2206 motors, 1950 kV. The Xings here, these are really quite nice motors. They've held up for an entire season of racing. They're still good. This is an older SLS uh, 5 frame, a Gate Hunter. I think if I remember correctly, it's like 55 grams. So this overall build is very light. It's 190 grams as you see it here without the prop nuts, props and battery straps. So it's not much heavier than for example, a uh, the new Diatune 5 inch toothpick that only has 2204 motors, which is one third less uh, stator volume. Now, because of that reason that it's very light built, it, I mean, it's not totally crazy. If this deck delivers what it does on paper in reality, or is even close to, to that, uh, this should work out absolutely fine because it's a pretty, pretty light build for a 5 inch. I mean, a regular racer with 22.7 motors might be up to over 300 grams. So, this is pretty light. This could be, I expect this to be very, very fast if it works out. But before we really try it, I mean, let's, let's just let this sink in how tiny this stack is. That is just incredibly small. I mean, for reference, that's a regular 30 by 30 and I mean, it doesn't look that small because this frame is extremely tiny. But <laughs> if you if you look at a fairly normal 30 by 30 ESC right next to it, it just show you shows you how small actually um, the, the base of this frame and this stack is. So this is the 16 by 16. And if you compare, I mean, this is not the 35 amp 16 by 16. This is the 13 amp 16 by 16. The 35 amp is slightly larger, but they're similar in size. If you compare just the surface area of a 16 by 16 versus a 30 by 30, this is a gig. I mean, this is almost four times as, as large. There's a gigantic uh, difference, and it will be really interesting to see whether this will uh, hold up testing. But enough of the talking. Let's just get this thing outside. Uh, bring a fire extinguisher and find out <laughs> what happens if I plug in this 6S here and push the throttle. So, it's wet and cold outside, which I guess is a good thing because if this goes totally south, we won't light anything on fire, except obviously this quad, which will be more or less sacrificed <laughs> if uh, this 16 by 16 won't handle the probably, I don't know, at least 80 amps of current that are going to go through it. So. Let's get this thing in the air and let's see if disaster will happen. Okay, let's go. It's looking good so far. Uh, this thing seems to be really fast. I'm hovering at, it's like a 10% throttle hover. Hey, slightly warming up the battery. Now let's give it a full throttle punch out. It does work. I think the current sensor is off. Uh, I would be surprised if these are actually 140 amps, probably not. But I guess it's time to fly that thing a bit more aggressively. Oh, 
Well, I just lost video signal. I don't know what went wrong. Let's go and pick up the quad. Okay, so obviously something didn't go fully as planned. It doesn't smell like burnt electronics anywhere. I don't see any fire, so it does seem to be okay, but um, I have to start searching for the quad. I just lost video signal for some strange reason, uh, quite suddenly, so uh, there it is. That's the quad, so let's check out what happened. All right, so this does look pretty unspectacular. Um, it's still powered on, but basically, I mean, I don't see the LEDs. I don't know if the flight controller is dead. Uh, it does seem so. So I guess to have to, I'll have to now uh, put the camera away for a second, quickly investigate what actually went wrong here. Let's see if it's still arms first. No. It is completely dead. So I think we killed the flight controller, but I'll take a closer look at it. Check out what's going on. I did take a closer look at the stack. It does actually look completely fine. So don't think that the amp draw uh, killed it. In this case, I would accept basically the ESC to completely fry and light up and fire and the MOSFETs to burn out. This didn't happen. What I think happened is that the 6S voltage simply fried the flight controller. I don't know if the 6S voltage was the cause or if it was just a um, bad flight controller. I don't know. But in any case, it did just completely drop that. And in conclusion, I would say maybe it, it, it could work. Maybe I just have a bad flight controller. But from this experiment, at least, I would say I really wouldn't recommend actually using this stack on 6S. While still, it probably should be more reliable on 4S. All right, guys, I hope you found this interesting. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.